So, <laughs> deep breath. Yeah. Deep breath. So, uh, so this is a really simple question, but I know that the answer will not be as simple as I, you know, as I've got in my head. Why is the breath important? So yeah, that is, it is a brilliant question. And it, it's, I think some people sometimes find it really funny when I talk about teaching people to breathe because they, think, well, you know, I, I know how to breathe. I don't need to learn how to breathe. But actually, yeah, I mean, the breath is at its most fundamental level, you know, you stop breathing, you, you die. And, you know, we, we need to breathe in order to keep ourselves alive. So that's, but that's, and that's an incredibly complex process in itself, you know, not diminishing the fact that respiration mm. is the basic thing that we need to do to stay alive. But beyond survival, you know, we're not here in this world just to survive. We're not here to live from one way to one day to the next. We want, most people at least want more than just basic survival. We want to thrive and we want to grow and we want to um, gain some kind of control and some kind of um, presence in our life. And that is where the power of the breath really comes into it. One of the, um, the, the biggest learnings for me in terms of the importance of the breath has been the connection, the, 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 like the, the breath is almost like the bridge between the mind and the body. So when you learn to breathe consciously, you're using your mind to control a physical, biological process. But that biological process then, when it comes under your control, actually has an impact on the mind. So when we slow the breath down, it calms the nervous system down, it brings you into the relaxation response, it helps to clear your mind, it helps to bring you into the present moment. It, it's, it's kind of the uniting thing that brings mind, body and spirit together. And it's that, that element of yoga that makes yoga such a powerful holistic practice because it isn't just about the body. Mm. It's, doing the postures then you're doing some fantastic exercise but you're not if you're not bringing the breath into that posture work then you're mm. really doing yoga you're doing an exercise mm. is going to improve your physical health but without the breath you're not bringing that mind and body together and so the, the I, I love I just love that the beautiful symbiotic relationship between the mind and the body that we use the mind to calm the body. And then when a calm body results in a calm mind and it all happens through the breath. So when you learn to control your breath, you can control your emotions and you can control your response to the world. Mm. So you can, you know, you can deal with life um, a lot better and a lot easier if you're able to take that, so you can take the step back from your emotional response to a situation and actually, okay, so this is what's happening. How am I going to deal with this rather than lashing out and um, getting out of stress? It is that, you know, that, that old wives tale, which I'd love to quote, is that take a deep breath and count to 10. Mm. An old wives tale because it works. <laughs> you know, it really does work if you're in, mm moment where you're about to lash out at somebody or you're about to react out of fear or stress or unhappiness or you know any kind of emotional response mm. take that step back take a breath and you can see it far clearer do you know it's 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 really fascinating when i when i look back to last year just listening to you i am now reminded see i in the first couple of days when, when my, my spine fractured, I did take some fairly powerful painkillers because it, it hurt. Mm. But after four days of lying there in just this horrible, and you know, and I, I am not a fan of, of pharmaceuticals. I, I just not. Yeah. But lying there in this fugue, I, I, you can't describe, you know, I just felt numb and I thought, I'm not going to take them. I'm going to breathe through it. And I thought, you're a crazy, you're crazy woman. And I do remember that I use, you know, I'm not trained in the breath, but I do remember from, from my yoga days mm -hmm. that, you know, you can use the breath to kind of send energy and messages and stuff f throughout the body. And you've just mm -hmm. reminded me, because, you know, I laid there in bed for quite a few days, quite a lot of days, and thought, you know, if I just breathe and I focus on that in and that out, 
I can mentally take the pain away. Now, I obviously was still in pain, or you know, I still have some pain, but I do now very much use the breath as you say, to, to make that bridge between the body and the mind. You know, I had some other um, chemical imbalances. I had a whole load of complications. And I just kept thinking, you know, breathe into it and breathe it out. And I think then as my healing went through some other kind of cycle, and I, you know, I said to, I've said to you um, before, the reason I'm, you know, I really want to focus on my breath now is because I can feel the this tightness in my in my chest so I've done all this other healing but I've forgotten to come back to the breath mm. to expand everything and I love how you describe how how the breath is is how you live your life and I and I'm I'm expanding all sorts of things so I'm very conscious that I must expand the breath so that's a very beautiful thank you um, introduction and Actually, I'm also um, reminded of an event that happened in the last few days, and I almost lost it. And I, I and uh, someone was looking at me when something was. I'm not going to say what was happening, but something was happening, and uh, some people were observing me, and they just said, "You just stood still." And I actually was just going. I, I didn't count to ten, but I was just breathing, and I thought. Mm -hmm. I just need. I, th I think I just need to um, reframe. Let mm. that. Let whatever's going on go on, and just breathe through it. And they they said they witnessed me, and they said it was really funny. You just stopped, <laughs> breathed, and then they you walked away. You and they, but they were expecting a different reaction. And yes. I was like, no, not a hope in hell. I'm going to focus on the breath. So that's brilliant. Thank you. So that that explains beautifully the importance of the breath and I really do love that connection between the conscious and the unconscious and how we live our life that is so profound I you know I that's a real big takeaway for me so thank you for that um 